Hello everyone, we're the Big Business Brand. My name is Michael, I'm a CIS major and I work in IT on campus. And hey guys, I'm Hunter, I'm a marketing major and I work uh, construction out of San Diego. Hey guys, I'm Arnold Quintanilla, I am the leader of Big Business Brand, I am an FRL major and I work for Cal Poly Pomona just making deliveries to student stores here on campus. So guys, my name is Enrique Lopez, I'm an FRL major, emphasis on finance. I'm actually a sales manager at Echo. Hi, my name is Boris Chikichi. I am a uh, MHR major focused in human resources, and I am a uh, service worker at uh, my local McDonald's. And Kevin. Good evening. My name is Boris Chikichi, and I will be going over with you the various tasks, assignments, and roles that each of our group members had we are assembling together our Team BB product, the test taker care package. Now, our team leader uh, was Arnie. He was in charge of getting set up where we wanted to sell, how we wanted to sell it, who was our target market, uh, what we were going to sell, and the basic logistics of how we were going to get this product out to our customers. Me, myself, Boris Chikizi, and my other group member, Enrique, were in charge of advertisement that was going out there, getting the word out about our project through word of mouth, uh, through posters, through uh, online, uh, whatever we could to get the product out to our customer base. Hunter Morris was in charge of assembling the product uh, he was in charge of making sure that, uh, the product was in good condition, making sure everything was ready, that we had enough supply to sell, and that the product was overall ready and usable once we were able to assemble it. And our final group member, uh, Mikel, was in charge of all our money and cash revenue and donations. So what his job was, was he was the one who set up the Venmo account. He was the one who handled all our cash sales and he was the one who took all our donations through either physical cash or through Venmo, like I had said before. And that was the basics of our group dynamic when we were coming together up with our test ticker care package product and our overall roles in doing so. So our customers were mainly students who are of the College of Letters, Arts, and Social Sciences, the College of Science, and all the buildings are on the quad, mainly because the quad is in between those colleges, but also students from other colleges sometimes have class in those buildings, so really any student who was <coughs> on campus at the time was a target for us. And so um, the College of Science has a current population of 4,150. The College of Letters, Arts, and Social Sciences has a population of 3,275. And altogether, Cal Poly Pomona has a population of about 25,894 students. And so our external environment, um, there wasn't really any direct competition because our product was a new to world product, meaning that it's a unique product that is not sold anywhere else on campus. So the component parts of the product are sold individually at student stores, but they are much more expensive if those products were all purchased together than our low price of $2. And so we did not have any competition out by the quad. At the student store, there was one close by, but like I said, they are more expensive there. And so some of our strengths, like I said before, was our low price of $2. So if a student were to try and buy a Gatorade and the Scantrons and all those things at a student store, the price would be four times as much, five times as much. It would be very expensive. Just one of the component parts would be more than $2, which is the price that we were offering all these things together for that price. Also, another one of our strengths was Venmo. So if a student didn't have any cash, they were able to pay via Venmo through the app. Another one of our strengths was that it was week seven, so for students that have three midterms in a class, they oftentimes, many of them have midterms in week seven. So if any of them were running late to a class and, you know, realized they had forgotten a Scantron, 
Well, we were right outside, you know, those buildings, and we were able to provide them with scantrons for just two dollars, and that included everything else. Some of our weaknesses were um, advertising our product, and we were all comfortable with word of mouth advertising. But what made it difficult is that it was it's a new to world product, so we had to, you know, really get out there and tell students everything that was included in each package because. Most students don't have time to just stop by and you know really look at what we're selling. So we really had to, you know, make it personal. Go up to each student individ individually, and you know ask them, hey, do you have a test? Are you hungry? Uh, to really you know get out there and advertise our product. So I would say that was our biggest challenge was advertising a new to world product since most students weren't familiar with it. So I'll be picking up at our opportunities and threats for our business. One of our opportunities was um, changing the possible location of where we were selling our product because we found that uh, sometimes that the flow of students in the walkway wasn't consistent and it would change depending on the time or if they had class or not. So if we changed the location or the time that we were selling our products, possibly we could make it more efficient and be able to target more customers to sell our product to. And for one of our threats, it was definitely the hot weather because it was melting our chocolate and turning our Gatorade warm. So to, to get rid of that problem, we could use a cooler next time or uh, keep them in heat protective bags or cool, cool protective bags. And all of these things kind of tie into what, what we wanted to make our competitive advantage. And a big part of that was making our price lower at $2 because making that lower would uh, help us compete against other student stores and other mar marketplaces on campus because at $2 a, a bottle or $2 a package, we could sell them, uh, sell it that at that value compared to like $4 or $6 if they were to buy everything in the package from a marketplace. Hey guys, it's Enrique here. I'm going to be talking about our midterm test care package. Uh, I'm going to be talking about the BAP, which stands for Features, Advantage, and Benefits, and the Price. So our, the care package consisted of a Cephalon with, different, with several different items. It included two Scantrons, one pencil, seven pieces of chocolate, and a bag of chips, and a small Gatorade. Now for the reasons for having these items in the Ziploc bag was specifically catered to the midterms. Uh, usually, obviously, most tests and CalPoc month consists of having a Scantron with you. So we included two. Uh, most students take more than one class, so obviously you're going to end up with more than one test. We, uh, uh, main tool being used in a, in a test is obviously the pencil. You're going to need a pencil to fill out the Scantron, and we always once in our whole life, we always forgotten to, to bring a pencil with us. The chocolate being used in the in the care package is acts as an energy boost. Usually people who've been studying all night need a little bit of snack during the test to keep them up. Uh, that's why we use the chocolate. The chocolate, again, acts like a five hour energy boost. Um, we also included the chips and the Gatorade. The chips and the Gatorade were more of a more in case of people who are starving. Again, people are in a rush when they're going to their test. They don't have time to stop and eat at the food courts. Or they go and they see that the line is already huge. So the, the chips and the Gary's adds as a, not as a substitute, but as a way to prevent you from, you know, freaking out and starving during the test. Now the pricing. Now the price, we ended up with the $2 for each care package. The reason for that is if you go into the Bronco student stores, uh, one water bottle it's already, is already going to be $2 off the bat. Now they sell the Scantrons for $0.35, cents, which is okay, which is not expensive. But again, if you grab a Scantron, if you grab a drink, which is already $2, and you grab a bag of chips, that's another $2. So by the end, by just having three items with you, you're already spending 6 to $5, which is not okay. So we, that's how we came up with the price of two dollars. We wanted to keep it as low as possible and having the benefits of having every little item in that little bag. Hey guys, it's Hunter. I'm back here again. So I'm gonna be giving you guys kind of a sales breakdown. So 
Our cost of our goods sold was $1.20 per product. We had a total inventory of 20 and a sale price of $2. We did sell out. We sold all our product within about, oh, I'd say about an hour and a half. So I'm gonna kind of do a little math here. You guys just hang in there. We're not actually gonna be using that formula, but just hang in there and uh, I'll get this done. So we got a cost of goods sold of $1.20. Total inventory of 20. That's going to give us 004. That's two. Sorry. $24. So that's going to be our total cost of goods sold. So we'll put TCGS. So a sale price of $2. We did sell all our product. So that's going to be uh, inventory times that. 20 times 2. Get a little bit more. So we had a total sale price of $40. Uh, we did get $11 in donations. So we're gonna go ahead and put $11 in donations here. Uh, so for those of you that don't know, our charity of choice was St. Jude. So a lot of people were very appealed to that idea and they did wanna do donations. Uh, that's why we got $11 in donations. So we're gonna take our total sales, which is gonna be 40 plus our 11 do donations is going to give us 51 minus our uh, total cost of goods sold, which is going to be 24. So our total profit was $27. So we're going to be end up donating $27 to St. Jude's. Uh, so that kind of gives you guys a little bit of a breakdown. Uh, when it came down to it, uh, we were operating at more of a bulk price. So we weren't like uh, going into the campus markets and just buying you know a pack of scantrons or one gator we were buying them in bulk and that's how we were able to get such a low price on it and uh make such a profit now two dollars you might think was a little low it was but the idea was to basically make it affordable for the students so that they weren't spending a lot of out of out of pocket money and uh in the end all the money was going to charity it's not like uh we were operating a uh, for-profit organization or anything so it was a, it is a charity based thing so yeah so we're gonna go ahead and uh, kind of go into conclusion here so basically I feel like we did very well for our circumstances we were originally planning on doing this in week five but due to some scheduling errors with the scheduling office we actually got pushed to week seven but uh, turns out people that have three midterms in a class still have midterms in week seven so it kind of worked out for us and at that time kind of people were starting to probably prepare for finals and they see two midterms or two scantrons and they might only need two scantrons so yeah um so i think we did quite well uh so for our control the only biggest issue we had was the hot weather uh for our chocolate candy they did melt and that kind of posed us a little bit of a problem but in the end we were able to kind of make it work and go with the flow thing. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching our biz big business brand presentation. Uh, if you guys have any questions about anything about it, uh, feel free to contact one of us and yeah, hopefully you guys learned something.